بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله the concept of Salafi jihadi or Salafi takfiri are false concepts these are not concepts that are known and from the practice and labeling from the scholars of Islam the scholars do not mix truth and falsehood they don't say someone is Ashidi Salafi or Ashidi Sunni in the sense that of following the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and according to the Medhab and understanding of the Salaf those categories they don't mix likewise declaring people who adhere to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for their guidance and the Medhab and the way of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala alayhi wa and the Tabi'een Witba'a Tabi'een as their menhaj, as their methodology for understanding in creed and fiqh and suluk you know, in, in manners and how they interact with the world those are the Salafiyun that is what Salafiyya is those are the Salafis as Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, Ahl al-Sunnah arham al-Nas bi khalq. Ahl al-Sunnah, they are the most merciful to the creation. This is Ahl al-Sunnah, Ahl al-Sunnah to al-Jama'ah. But when we look at these groups like ISIL or ISIS or Iceberg or whatever they want to refer to themselves as, so, so the so-called Islamic State, the so-called Salafi Jihadists in Algeria, Al-Qaeda and other deviant uh, Jamaat al-Nusra al-Nusra and all these other groups of deviants do not fall into the trap and equate them with Salafia. that's like comparing the east to the west the right to the left why? because they do not adhere to those principles from the sources of the religion and the fuqaha of the religion the scholars of fiqh and jurisprudence from the past on how to practice Islam and how to practice and understand principles of takfir for example and how to practice and understand principle of jihad for example when you look at these jihadis, these lone wolf terrorists, these other groups, they defy all of the bounds of Islamic law. They kill women and children. They use women and children to do suicide bombs, some of them. When the Prophet ﷺ forbade this from the asl of the religion, it was forbidden. Allah forbade taking of a life unjustly. But these ones claim from their ta'wil facet that this is uh, in the sake for the better benefit, for, the for their greater cause. When their cause is the cause of the devil and the devils from amongst mankind and the jinn. Likewise, Ahabat Tifillah, we see that their ghaya, their purpose, their end result is mostly they declare that they want an Islamic state, that they want to be ruled by Islam in all facets of life, of life. But yet they go through every door which does not lead to that end result through brutality and terror, through takfir and rebellion. That's their methodology. Whereas Ahl Sunnah, the Salafis, their methodology is through patience, through remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through seeking knowledge, 
to make endowa, to encourage people propagating that knowledge? And practicing those higher duties based on the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Salaf of this Ummah. But not through chaos and bloodshed, not through at times like Marxist uh, rebels or uh, anarchists. That's not the minhaj of the Salaf of Salih. And that's not the way of the Salafiyun. That's why they're so far. These two groups, and that's why these two groups have animosity between them and enmity between them. Because you have falsehood, which is these takfiri jihadi groups, and you have light and guidance, which is from Salafis. If you look in the around the world, Salafis busy with propagating and trying to deal with the issues of the Muslims through knowledge and fiqh not through being in a hurry not to quickly rush into a ruling and not through individual acts claiming that this is in the name of Islam unlike those groups for everything is mubah everything is permissible because they for them the means justifies the ends Whereas the Salafis take the path of the Sharia in Islam. That the means must be sound in Islamic and the ends must be sound in Islamic. Those are just some basic general differences between Salafis and these neo takfiri groups and deviants who base their religion on going against what the Prophet ﷺ said. The Prophet ﷺ said, Sabab a Muslim fusuk, wa kitalahu kufr. Cursing a Muslim is wickedness and sinfulness. And fighting him is disbelief. Where do they stand on this scale? They attack anyone and kill anyone and fight anyone who disagrees with them. Where's the Islamic tolerance? Where's the Islamic understanding? Where is the fiqh, the knowledge of this deen and how to practice it and the wisdom of how to practice and how to ta'amil, how to, how to cooperate with other communities, how to interact with other communities? Where is this? You only find this with Ahl Sunnah, the true way. The Prophet ﷺ said, "Man yirid Allah bi khairan yifakoo fi din." Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives us some understanding of the religion, and we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with the knowledge of His religion, and protect us from deviance, and protect us from wickedness, and protect us from jamaat bid'iyah and protect us from hizbiya, and protect us from all those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is displeased with, and may Allah bless us to be upon that which pleases Him. Ya Rabbil Alameen, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.